The handshake that to a large extent threw the country into a political spin midday Friday. President Uhuru Kenyatta and NASA leader Raila Odinga's show of unity after a three-hour meeting that announced the truce. But just how did we get here? The August 8, 2017 general election was billed to be a tough one. President Uhuru Kenyatta gunning for a second term in office while his main competitor, Raila Odinga, popularized his last bullet, rallying the call to ascend to the country's top seat. The results of the poll were contested by Odinga and to the chagrin of the Jubilee side, the Supreme Court headed by Chief Justice David Maraga annulled Kenyatta's win. According to pundits, this is when the country's political temperature hit fever pitch. But Odinga would however pull out of the repeat presidential poll citing a raft of electoral reforms that his team preferred before participation. And on October 26th, a repeat poll largely boycotted by Odinga's supporters was conducted with President Kenyatta one once again emerging as the winner. Though contested at the Supreme Court again, the elections were given a clean bill of health by the judiciary, setting the stage for Kenyatta's swearing in for his second and final term. Jubilee! Resist! Uru Kenyatta! Resist! Meanwhile, Odinga on the other side marshaled his troops, setting the stage for an economic boycott of certain products and companies. The formation of the country's People's Assembly, as well as to be sworn in too as the parallel president of the country. Clouded in these were calls for dialogue by the opposition, as well as diplomats, the business community and interfaith groups. A defiant Odinga would then in January take up a mock oath ceremony in which he declared himself as the people's president. The aftermath leading to a shutdown of four independent television stations, a crackdown on NASA supporters, including the deportation of fiery lawyer Miguna Miguna to Canada. The opposition, however, held on to calls for dialogue, a condition that the ruling coalition set would only occur on a platform of developing the country. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.